I went to a Bad Boy Park uh, this past weekend uh, where the San Diego Cactus and Succulent Society was having a show and sale. I bought some stuff there. Uh, I spent about 50 bucks on um, some some pretty good priced uh, stuff, right? And uh, look at that. And um, all this stuff is going to be good bonsai, all that stuff. But uh, so I went out and bought this stuff and um, I want to put them in some nice, uh, um, some nice container. Um, and nicer than the than the red clay ones that you get like at Home Depot or at the local nursery. And uh, so I went to Marukai's, which is um, a Japanese store here in San Diego, and uh, picked up some uh, teacups. And uh, here they are. They're pretty nice, and they all cost under two dollars. I think it was like a dollar eighty nine each or something like that. And um, some of them had deep wells, and uh, I wanted to put ho a hole in it because I didn't want the root to to you know rot or anything. So when I picked at a ceramic um, a bit, a ceramic tile bit, and this cost me thirteen dollars, um, thirteen dollars. And an hour and a half later, got my first hole. Yes, yeah, it took me an hour and a half, and <laughs> I'm including the time that it took me to to take breaks and to, to Google up my frustration to see if I was doing it right. And uh, and I, I kind of wasn't. You're, you're supposed to like kind of go like like at an angle, attack it at an angle as you go around and then as well as going. Um, anyways, so this one only took me um, 45 minutes. Uh, same material, 45 minutes. And I went on to a different material, which was this, I guess a softer um, clay or whatever and this one only took me 25 minutes so yes it's going to take you some time unless you get lucky and pick up something like this which is very soft and this one only took I think like four minutes or something to do but uh, look at them they're, they're pretty nice for what you get you know two bucks and this is going to look great I think something like that or something like this and the reason why I choose teacups is because um uh, they're small and I want some of my succulents to remain small like some of them like that sucker right there when they get huge this is pretty small as you can see from my hand right it's pretty small that is and I like them like this but as they get big like this one matures oh man it looks like a big I just you know what look it up Google it and see like what they look like and it's just uh, too weird for me but um everybody needs to teach their own right so um, this one I, I kind of want to remain small also, but these ones I don't care if they get bigger. These are going to be, um, well, not that much bigger because I'm going to try to um, try to prune these to bonsai, right? Look at that, odd. And some of these, they, um, these when they when they um, these, these trunks when they I don't know they they get all weirdly shaped when they get older, and they sprout up from the ground and you can do weird stuff with it. It's really nice. Anyways, um, so back back to these. Um, if you can if you can comment if anybody has any like uh, experience with like regular teacups without putting a hole in it, let me know because like something like this it took so long to do and if if it's not <laughs> worthwhile to do, then I'm not even going to do it anymore. I just buy them and just plant them as is. But if you've had one that's like um, that's lasted for like more than a year or so, then let me know. I'm just like really. This one, this one kind of scared me though. These did because they're kind of deep, and uh, I didn't want to put them in there and, you know, like I said, have have them have them rot on me and die within a couple months. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna put this in here so you guys can see what it looks like after I'm done. I don't know if I should put it. You know what? That right there, Mister. Yeah. All right. Hold on. So this is what they look like in their new home. Lithops. Close by that. These are really cool. Uh, these separate and a little, little um, um, flower pops up in between these cracks right here. Nice. 
and once it does start to like uh, flourish, it'll fill this whole space up. So I'm not even going to worry about like all the like gravel or or you know whatever cosmetic stuff people put on it in the top. Um, that's what this looks like. Looks weird. Very cool though. And a happy day because <laughs> when I was taking this out, uh, these things fell off and they already had roots on them, so we planted them here. See so yeah, how they do. And unfortunately for this guy, um, I didn't notice it when I bought it, but there was, I guess, uh, how could I? But uh, when I when I was taking it off, when I was you know taking out the the, uh, the original container, um, the roots had mostly separated from this bulb. So I have no idea how this is going to do because right now this is just a bulb right here. The roots I put in, I put back into like the um, I kept in its um, original container. I'm just gonna hope, hopefully that'll grow back. <laughs> Take a long long time if it does so. We'll see, but this guy here, I have no idea what's going to happen to it. But e even if it does, does does do okay. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I like it in this this cup. Uh, I'll try to find a square one for it or something. But um, just to show you guys what it would look like if it were here. Keep here. So that's too bad about this guy. Really neat. If anything, I could always get another one, but. I thought this was the better one out of all of them. Oh well. So. Alright, that's it. <laughs>